Would you like a lime in your beer? Hello and welcome to another video on JD's Booze Reviews. Today we are trying Favorito, probably not saying right, a 4.5% Mexican lager with lime and salt. It is by Thornbridge Brewery and yeah, let's get into the beer, a bit about the flavour profile and let's get it put into a glass. So let's say a Mexican lager, so... I don't want to say quite Desperados like, um, that's you know, tequila beer, not quite the same thing. But you know that typical flavour profile of a lager with a lime, going for a bit of a, a tequila slammer vibe, I think, with sort of the the salt aspect and the lime. Um, although, is that tequila, lemon, and salt? I don't know. You can tell it's been a long time since I've been out proper partying. Uh, anyway, they say that this beer is the perfect summer beer. It is, you know, brewed for this perfect weather that we are having in the UK for the next day or two or week. We'll see how it goes. It'll probably be absolutely chucking it down tomorrow, but that's the way it goes. Anyway, this is, yeah, got some sort of more traditional startup sort of um, brewing techniques by brewing with like flaked maize. And yeah, I believe the salt in here is, is Himalayan sea salt, so quite fancy, not, not the stuff that you get at the, uh, you know, the corner shop. <laughs> so let's stop waffling on, let's get this cracked open and let's get it poured. Alright, so here we go. So yeah, this is aiming to be sort of a light beer, a light lager. And yeah, that is very light, very clear. Yeah, that is what I was expecting to see in the glass. I was pour when pouring, I did get a lovely whiff of uh, of lime. It literally smelled like I've got a bag of limes next to me. I, I don't, I can assure you. Um, but yeah, whew, that is lime heavy to say the least. So yeah, a lovely crisp lager smell underneath with yeah a lime cordial like um sort of finish it smells very much like a um what do you have like you have a you know you have a a, a lager in black or whatever i don't know what the lime cordial version of that is but it smells like that it smells like someone has got a got a lager and um, essentially poured lime cordial into it. There is a slight saltiness on the on the aroma, not massively. We'll see if that comes through to the um, to the flavour. But yeah, I'm hoping that that saltiness cuts out the sort of tart citrusness of the lime. But we shall see. Mm, okay. The aroma is a lot stronger than um, the flavour, which is it's good because I was worried it was going to be a bit too overpowering. That is a very nice crisp lager base. Mm. Very, yeah, as I say, if you know what I mean by a lager crispiness, it's very refreshing, very palate cleansing, very, yeah. Very, like, quite malty to a degree. Mmm. It is a bit bready, which is, yeah, nice. Mmm. Yeah, so very enjoyable lager. Now, the additions of the lime and the salt. Subtle. Definitely there. Definitely a slight saltiness. Definitely a liminess. A lime, citric note. But definitely not as prominent as the aroma. It's like nicely balanced to a degree, uh, to, to be fair. Mm. 
you take a sip you get the lovely citrus notes on your palate and then it is sort of washed away with this nice base of bready crisp clean lager they say this is perfect for um for a, a summer day, a summer occasion, and they're not wrong. This is very, uh, very enjoyable. Must admit, did not put it in the, I put it in the fridge quite a while ago. Should have maybe put it in the freezer because it is not quite the temperature that you'd want, be wanting a lager. You normally want a lager very, very cold. This is slightly warmer, but actually it's still perfectly enjoyable. But at a colder temperature, some of these flavours might be a bit more muted because tends to be when colder temperatures um, are tasted, they kind of, the, the, the cold, there's a science behind it, but the cold temperature kind of detracts away from these other flavour profiles. I just guess it can't get out, it can't get past the temperature um, because I guess it's some, well, I'm not going to continue guessing. I am not a scientist. Um, but yeah, at colder temperatures, flavours definitely do be a bit more, a bit more subdued. So the lime flavour at really cold temperature may not be super noticeable. But at a temperature I'm having it, which is a, probably a few degrees off what I'd normally want it, it's still very much there, still limey, a nice refreshing citrus note, a little bit of saltiness, not a huge amount, I wouldn't say it's like drinking the sea, it is like, you know, salted caramel sorts of levels, like, just a nice saltiness to balance it out, is, is kind of the way to explain it, and yeah, I mean, I kind of half poured myself, but, um, yeah, I think from how quick this has gone down in my glass, we can we can say it's it's definitely one I am enjoying. And that's going to do it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can see more videos when they come out. And I will see you on the next one. Cheers.